Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke, your host on the fourth Thursday, Thursday of every month now. If you're watching on Fridays, you're going to miss it. So, And I'm back with my third guest, Amy Biani. Amy is our first returning guest ever since I've been hosting this uh, fourth fourth week of the month on the show. So I'm really excited to have her back. You're a very good friend of me and a good Thank friend you. of the show. And when you were here in January, you were talking about a nonprofit you work with called the Biashiro Foundation. Yes. And you guys were getting ready to do your big gala, which was amazing. I saw the yes, pictures. Yes, it went so well. And you had such a great time. Uh, but what I've asked her to talk about today, to come in and talk about today, Amy works for the payroll company. Yes, that's right. And you know I like to do some educational segments with the people who are business owners who are watching or people who are thinking about starting a business. And one of the things I've asked Amy to do come in today is to talk about how a company like the payroll company can help you in your business. Because payroll is one of those things that business owners can use a lot of help. And if you don't do it right, it can kind of get you in a lot of trouble. Absolutely. Nobody so, wants that kind of trouble. Right. I know I don't. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what you guys want, but I, I, don't, I don't like trouble in any way, shape, or form. So, so. Tell us about the payroll company. Tell us how you came to be working for the payroll company because your your history is so interesting. It so. is. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. So the payroll company, or TPC, is a privately held company here in town. Um, our headquarters are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're currently doing business for small and medium-sized businesses all over the U.S. Um, the reason I got involved in payroll with my background in just owning a business and entrepreneurship, it was so easy for me to transition into this world of nothing but business owners. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, as a business owner myself, I saw a lot of the struggles that went on with dealing with overhead or dealing with the IRS or filing paperwork. And the transition was easy when I kind of dove in and learned more about it. And there's something sexy about payroll when you're doing it with the payroll company. I'll tell you that. Okay. Well, we're going to hear more about that later. I can't, I can't wait to hear about the sexy aspects of payroll <laughs> with the payroll company. Um, now, what is, you, you've been a business owner. You've actually had a couple of businesses. I you, have. You've been involved in a lot of things. What is a common misconception that business owners might have about, whether it's about doing their payroll themselves or about working with a payroll company or just payroll in general? Absolutely. A lot of companies think that doing payroll in-house will save them a lot of money. And, and you know, it might. It might at first, but in hindsight, it is actually not the best move. There's so many taxes and laws that are constantly changing. Having a payroll company do the payroll for you or outsourcing the payroll through the payroll company um, allows you to be more compliant all across the board, whether it's state taxes, federal taxes, we're there to be of service to you. Yeah. And taxes have really been a moving target. It has over been. Over the last few years. And not, I mean, everything with the federal taxes and the new tax law this year, but even in the state of Nevada, taxes have been a moving target with the commerce tax and some of the things we've talked about in the past or we haven't talked about, but some of the things that have happened in the past, it's really been a moving target. And, Absolutely. And, and that's something you can help with, right? Yes. And that's where the misconception comes in. You know, these business owners are trying to save money in every way possible. And, and having employees is an expensive cost. But at the end of the day, just being non-compliant in one little thing can add up over time. And if you're looking at your taxes at the end of the year and you're a little bit worried, then you should have called us a year ago. But we're still here to help. <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't don't take that the wrong way. Amy, Amy will still help you yes. even if you didn't call a year ago, uh, which is which is good to know. <laughs> don't don't anyone think we're not going to help you. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, you know, and it's not it's not even just. The money is important. If you end up getting fined or having to pay a late fee or something like that, that's that can certainly eat into your business or or be frustrating. But but it's the it's the time and energy of trying to look through those IRS pamphlets and Absolutely. those IRS instructions and doing it one way. And I because I've done this myself. I've done it and I go okay. I did it. There are two ways I think this could be right. I did it this way. I did it this way. And one way I get back a lot of money and one way I have to pay a lot of money. And then I go ask someone who's smarter than I am about it and they go no neither of those is right. So, <laughs> so you, it, it's a lot and, and going through these audits and things like that's a lot of time and frustration. So it Money aside you can save yourself a lot of time and frustration by working with a pro on this. Yes is what I'm absolutely. 
focus on something that's going to build your business even more. I mean, the cost of running a payroll or processing payroll for us is very minimal. I mean, our margins are so low. For us, it's about building your business and keeping you sustainable for years. And, and that's one of the things I love about you, knowing you personally, is you're all about win-win. Yes. Win-win scenarios for everybody. Uh, whether it's your work in the community, whether it's your professional work with the payroll company, or just putting people together and doing some networking yes. on, a, on a Tuesday night. You're all about win-win <laughs> scenarios. So tell us a little about what size companies are you looking to work with? Sure. I mean, for us, it's any size company. We've worked with somebody as small as one person on the payroll to thousands of people on the payroll. I mean, the bigger, the better would be ideal, but we're here to help. Um, when you have when you're in a tax bracket where you're kind of worried about taxes at the end of the year, maybe speaking with a CPA or coming to us and getting a referral for a CPA and helping you along those tax lines, and maybe just starting a payroll for yourself would be ideal. So any small to medium-sized business, we're able to help. Yeah, so as, as small as a solopreneur who just... Yes, who solopreneur, is, who I love is it. Thinking, you know, who's getting frustrated trying to decide how much do I take out for myself as a mm -hmm. business draw? What do I have to set aside for taxes? I've got to do these quarterly tax payments. So if you're just one solopreneur running a business, the payroll company can help you. And if you are hundreds and hundreds of employees, you can help as well. Yes, right? bring so, them on. Hundreds so, and hundreds, come my so, way. And if you're just one <laughs> and you're looking to grow, which we all encourage here. Yes, and growth is so important for us, which is why we have a national footprint. I mean, being in 50 states is so ideal because if you're looking to start your business and grow it into the next state over or across the country, we're able to help in that regard as well. And and you all, like you said, uh, if you don't have an accountant, yes, this is, this is, Amy can help you build that relationship if you if you talk to her about your payroll. As Absolutely, well, so. and payroll is just our foot in the door. I mean, we really specialize in payroll and HR and everything in between. So mm -hmm. if it's bookkeeping service or if it's something that you need help with, if we don't know it, we have a client or within our network, we know somebody who can definitely help you because it's their level of expertise. And that was how you and I met because you That's are right. an expert <laughs> networker. We met through LinkedIn, but. Again, one thing that really impresses me is your passion about helping people build their networks yes. and grow, not just grow their businesses, but grow the community around them. So what's some advice you have for business owners or people who are thinking about starting a business to grow their network and to put the right people in their network? Sure. I think when it comes to starting a business, first of all, have everything in place before you go out there. It's so easy to say, hey, I'm starting this XYZ, and you go into networking and people are like, well, what about this and this and that? Mm -hmm. And you kind of get swayed on what the market is offering. Um, so knowing what you have to offer and what you might need early on is ideal. But also not being so caught up in your business where you're just looking at the day-to-day -day operations and not getting yourself out there. I mean, it's so easy to get caught up in how operations might work or how um, to do payroll in-house or how to do um, your scheduling, whatever that might be. But when you go outside and, and meet new people and network with others, mm -hmm. you get new and fresh ideas that will really help your company grow in definitely diverse ways. One of the great things I find about networking is because you meet, you know, you go out to an event or you go to, you go to a party and you, you talk to 10 or 12 or 15 people mm -hmm. and you've got to tell that same story over and over again Yikes. of what it is you do <laughs> and it, it forces you to kind of tell it in a fresh way because you might be talking to one person and have another person join the group you're talking to and you don't want to say it, I don't want to say it exactly the same way. So it really forces you to think about what are the benefits to my clients and I see that. what are the benefits to the community and that's, that's something I find really helps in networking is if it's not all about me, right? Is right. I'm talking about, well, I do this and I do this to make money, but I, I also do it because it genuinely helps people and here's how I think I can help people and why it's a why it's a benefit to them not just to me yes absolutely I like that so very cool well Amy thank you so much for being here thanks for having me we always love to have you we'll have you back for some reason I'm sure yes in the future so. yes and for new business owners please set up your payroll before you get operations running because you definitely want to pay your employees on time and that's where we come in you you have to pay them on time it's, it's <laughs> a law I think I, I'm not, not a law guy but <laughs> but tell us how tell our viewers how they can reach you and the payroll company so sure. that they can set up their payroll before they get too wrapped up in making their widgets and, and putting out fires. Sure. Day. To learn more about the payroll company, visit us at tpcpayrollhr.com or you can contact me directly at amy.bayani at tpc.com. That's 
A-M-I-B-A-Y-T-P-C-L-V.com. And say hi to her on LinkedIn because she for sure will say hi back to you. Yes, that's right. So I'm Jason LaDuke. This is Geeks Are Sexy. We're going to be right back. We're going to bring all of our guests back for our panel discussion. We're going to be talking about education and workforce development here in Las Vegas. Stick around.